You know, one thing about this program I like to do is to put individuals in a position to inspire them. People of all backgrounds see that they, are, they can be a part of the court. We all walk away with um, an amazing experience and an amazing benefit um, to each of us. The goal of the AO's model intern program is to find and develop talented, underserved college students in federal courts around the country. Since 2018, interns have worked in district and bankruptcy courts, circuit courts, and the Court of International Trade, from coast to coast across the country, and in the U.S. territories of Guam and the Northern Mariana Islands. It's always intimidating, I think, walking into a courthouse and knowing that not only are you walking into a federal courthouse, but you're also going to be mingling and you know communicating with these judges and different court personnel. I think we knew Willie was special when he walked through the door. Having my own ID and walking into the federal building and walking in and meeting judges, being introduced to all of them, and that was an experience like no other. And a peek behind the curtain, you know, I guess a peek into, in, into the inner workings is something that I will forever be grateful that I was able to participate in. The program runs a full year. The interns do rotations in all facets of court operations, from working directly with judges and the clerk's office to the courtroom and pretrial and probation. Rose Sawbell worked in the Central District of California in Riverside, east of Los Angeles. The relationship with Judge Sykes is something that caught me by surprise because I think everybody is so intimidated to be in front of a judge, let alone a federal court judge. So I was always very timid, very scared when I first met her, but I've come to realize very quickly that she is also human and we also come from similar backgrounds as far as culturally. It's been lovely and wonderful experience being with Rose. Um, you know, she has been uh, an amazing intern and an amazing colleague, uh, an amazing sister and friend. Um, both Rose and I, of course, are of uh, Native American uh, heritage, and working with Rose has been, I think, really one of the first times in my life and in my career that I've been able to work with another um, Native American woman. As a young girl, I always wanted to be an attorney. I had my hopes to eventually be a judge, uh, but I didn't have anyone in my own community who I could look up to or who could mentor me. The uh, intern rotates throughout the different divisions within the court, and it always seemed like the time went too fast. Uh, so when Rose came here, it, she was here, and then all of a sudden she was off to her next rotation. Rose has been an amazing asset for our chambers, and I think that one of the opportunities we have is to provide, it an in, provide a, a bridge to the younger generation of how their input is so vital there are things that the newer generation with regard to technology, with regard to new ways of communicating with the public, that they could bring those skills to the courts and thereby make them better, more efficient, more fair, and more representative. In Missoula, Montana, Kendra Hart spent much of her internship working with her mentor Mark Henkel in the probation office. She's writing bail reports, she's interviewing defendants, she's in chambers, you know, giving her opinion about a case, she's talking to attorneys, she's talking to employers. I thought she was very sensitive about handling issues that are difficult for people to talk about um, and getting them to open up because the more information I have, the, the better my decision can be. We have a large amount of veterans, and I myself am a disabled combat veteran. And so coming from that kind of background and understanding some of the challenges of people coming in and out of this court system have, you know, I think that a lot of people don't understand um, the full effects of PTSD. I have a lot of respect even for offenders because some of the trauma that they've experienced is unreal and I can relate to a lot of that trauma. She has a unique experience and a unique background that probably would not have put her on the path to being in an applicant pool for a federal court position had she not had the exposure to this program. I always tell my management team that I'm interested in talent. We can train for skill. We can train for knowledge but let's hire talent, wherever they are in their career, whatever their background is. If there's talent and tenacity and they are teachable, 
Those are the people we want in the federal court system. I applied to the program because as a diverse candidate, being half Mexican and half Native American, I felt the communities I'm from are often underrepresented, and I felt that it was important to be able to assert my identity in these professional environments and provide new perspective as well as gain perspective of the justice system. This recruitment is unique in that the position is specifically designed for a college student. The hiring committee was looking for a college student that would meet the mission of the program, perhaps a first-generation college student or someone who would not otherwise have the opportunity to experience this first-hand look into the federal court system. We wanted the court to participate in this program because diversity is so critical, not only to making sure that the court reflects the community it serves, but also to ensure that we have diverse ideas and points of view in forming the work that we do. It can be hard sometimes to get a diverse group of people, whether it's in the clerk's office, whether it's on the bench, and this program seemed like the perfect opportunity to bring in fresh ideas and fresh perspectives, and also maybe to encourage a young person to choose the federal judiciary as a career. The administrative office of the U.S. courts funds the intern salaries and offers developmental opportunities, including a 12-week interview and resume skills workshop and one-on-one -on -one career counseling with a certified career coach. We found that if we pushed out the application and got the word out um, to as many organizations as possible from diverse backgrounds, um, and as well as universities um, and colleges um, that are not normally on the recruiting trail for the judiciary, we, we received a flood of high quality applications. To have them bring their life experiences, bring their perspectives in to our judiciary, you refresh the blood that's here. You refresh the atmosphere that's here. I am grateful to the AO for giving us this opportunity to participate and for selecting us as a participating court. I can't encourage strongly enough other courts to participate in the program. Uh, it is well worth it. It is a life and work changing experience. Oh.